steps, doubling it up. Once again, if I'm advancing, I push up with the rear foot. Going back, same thing. Okay, left, go. Right. Advance. Retreat. Left. Right. Now I'm going to call it two directions. So go advance, left. Advance, right. Retreat, left. Right, advance. Retreat, left. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, maybe are you? We're gonna do a mirror drill so that you get used to following your opponent and staying in front of them. So when your hands are up, fighting stance, in this position, wherever I move, you wanna stick with me. You're not gonna, you're gonna, Stay in front of me. So if I move to the left, you're mirroring me. Right. Okay, let's want to recover. So some of you were moving, you were staying here. If, I always want to be in a position of advantage. So if I, if I end up sidestepping to the left, I'm recovering with the right. If I go to my right, I'm recovering. I don't want to stay open, especially when we add the legs with the kickboxing. I don't want to be here. Okay? Um, that's one type of footwork, the step and slide. Oftentimes, you're going to move on diagonals. You never want to move straight into a punch. If, if I'm going to punch at Jesse, see right there? Okay? I'm not, uh, if he's punching at me, I'm not going to move straight in because I'm going to get hit. So when he jabs again, I'm going to be moving to the side. But I'm going to be using, again from here, I might be moving using a triangle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move, we're just going to practice moving on diagonals. All we're going to do is go right, left. Mostly you're going to stay on one side with boxing, but you still want to understand the diagonals because you still might move and switch because you want to move around. So from just here, right, left. You're basically just making a triangle. Okay, right, switch left. Right and left. Okay, everyone go. Right, left. Right. So a boxer stance. We never put all the weight on that front leg. So you want to be light. Your weight distribution is 50-50. So if I'm here, I'm, I, can, I can move, but I don't want to step and put too much weight on that leg. So if I move, I want to adjust. So we, I want you to practice that. So if you're stepping, even if I'm here, I'm still slightly lifted the ball of my rear foot. If I move this way, if I was up, I would still be slightly on the ball of my foot. A couple more times. Here we go, ready. Move, move up a little bit more so you have room. Here we go, right. You're right. <laughs> Left, right, and left. Relax your body, okay. Right, and left. So when we're sparring, we don't want to necessarily stay in front of the person. If I went to you, young lady, put your left leg in front and we're sparring, put your hands up, hands up, hands up. And she throws her punch at me, punch. I may, I may move to hit her here, okay? How am I gonna get around there? How am I gonna move? So this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go from here, left, right, left leg pivots, okay? Right from there, left, right, left leg pivots. We're going four corners, left, right, pivot. Everyone face this way. Come back, go to your right. So the rear foot, which should be your left, is going to circle back, facing this wall. Fantastic. Everybody looks good. Here we go. Left, right. Face the back wall. Again, left, right. Pivot. Face the street. Left. Right, pivot, face the mirrors. Again, left, right. 
go back. Everybody start right here one, one last time. So, not to confuse you, but we're gonna go opposite now. So, we're gonna go right. Relax, just go step right, come back, step left. But I'm at a diagonal. Right from there again, right? Step forward at a diagonal, switch to your left. Pivot, right leg swings back. Right, left. Swing your right leg back towards the back. One more time, right. Switch left and face the ears. Okay, so I don't expect you to perfect this in one day, but I want you to just think about that. If you're you're moving around because you're boxing, instead of just standing here, st still practice. How will we actually do this if we're sparring? We're not going to go left, right, switch, but but you might go bang and then switch, right? Yeah, and switch. So you want to be able to move around, especially when you're in the boxing ring. You don't want to stay just in front of the person. If I'm here with, with you, I might bang and move. And that's the footwork, okay? Any questions on that? What I'd like you to do now is find a partner. One of you will put their uh, boxing gloves on. The other one person will put a set of focus mitts on. Okay, about one minute, let's go for stance. Okay, my elbows are pointing towards the ground. When I have the gloves on, my, my fists are here. When, to execute an effective jab, it comes out as a vertical punch, okay? At the moment of impact, you wanna rotate. The reason the jab, as simple as a punch as you think it is, it's not that simple always to, to execute, it's because you have to have perfect skeletal alignment. Knuckles supported by the wrist, supported by the elbow, supported by the shoulder. So even if I do this much, I can break my hand or hurt it. If I punch and I land this way, it's no good. So make sure from here, comes out straight, rotates at the moment of impact, and then I draw it back, just like that. Okay. When I throw the cross, which we're gonna go over in a second, it's the same as a jab, comes over, rotates at the moment of impact, Knuckles supported by the wrist, supported by the elbow, supported by the shoulder. Also, my hip is turning, I'm dropping my knee. So basically a jab, cross, that way. So when you work on, on the focus mitts, what I'm gonna do is you're, gonna, you're paired up now, I'm gonna, I, so I can keep an eye on you, I'm gonna count, okay? And you're gonna, you were taught, but I'm gonna show you one way right now. Your left leg, you will rest on your chest. Your right leg will be right in front of your shoulder. You do not want it out here because it's going to compromise the shoulder, especially if the person is hitting hard. So you keep it here. What I'm going to also ask you to do is the moment of impact, you just contract. I don't want to see you hitting the hand because when people do that and they come at you, one, if we were really boxing, I'm not going to come at you with my hand. So why would you do that with a glove, right? So not to mention that it's just going to hurt my wrist. Um, sparring, the target is moving around but not coming at you in that way. So from this position, you hold it there firmly. You're in a boxer stance, so you're ready. You're no different like if we were sparring. Okay, from here, and I bring it back. Okay. That's all we're gonna do, Since just 10 jabs. The other thing I'm gonna ask you to do is everybody hands up. When I count, okay, oh, not, hands up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know where you, I know where you, man. He's like, oh, I'm in. <laughs> So I'm gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna count. You're gonna count right after me because that's gonna force you to breathe. I want you to exhale because if you, you don't count, let something out. You start holding your breath. Okay, everybody ready? Yes, Left legs in front. They are punching your right glove. Your other glove is just resting on your chest. Here we go. Ready? Just move. One. Hello. Count after me. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. That is always with the leading hand. If my left leg is in front, my left hand is leading, the jab is with the leading hand. When I throw this punch, it's going across my body, that's a cross. So the, the jab is with the left right now. Got it?
okay, with the left. Okay. So when we double it up, we don't bring it all the way back. It's a half beat, it's one, two. And what you will do is your left foot will pump. One, two, okay. You don't wanna be flat footed, so you lift it. You lift it as you jab. Rotate it, bring it back halfway again. Not all the way back. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Let's count on the second punt. Here we go. One. Okay. One. Two. 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 Three. 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 Four. 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 So it's not one, two, it's from here, left, right. Okay, so again from here, left, replaced by the right. Now what's happened? As I place the left out, as I retract it, the motion starts at the ball of my foot, I'm rotating, I'm dropping my knee, I'm turning my hip, my left hand comes back to protect my face. And, I, and it's almost like you're punching something hot. One, two, you bring it back, you don't leave it out there. Okay, so left, right, bring it back. Ready? Okay, here we go. On the cross, count, here we go. One. One. Two. Two. two three. Three. Four. Five. Five. Keep your hands up. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. So we don't want to be wide because that's a pretty big head. Okay, we want to keep it as close as, but what we want to be very careful of is that we not allow this to float forward. Why? Because when I go to throw my foot, if I get that there, it's going to hit your partner in the face. So you want to make sure safety is important that you keep this glove right in front of your shoulder. And this is out here. Left, right, left. Okay. Jab, cross, hook. One, two, three. On your left hook, when you execute that left hook, one, two, as I draw the right back, the left is coming out. I'm pivoting on the ball of my foot slightly. My fist comes up. Okay. How I position my hand is personal preference. You may choose to go here. That's a wider hook engaging different muscles. For a short hook, it's here, boom. It's you just dropping it. If I'm this close with you, and I'm here, I could, I'm dropping it. If I'm wider, then I might come with a different position of my fist. So try both, maybe you already have a preference. Jab, cross, hook. Decide which feels more comfortable for you. There's no right or wrong, it's just different. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna trust that you're gonna breathe, and you don't have to count now, but I want your breathing to sound like this. Okay? If I don't hear you breathing, then we go back to counting. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Left, right, left. Three. Talk to yourself. Left, right, left. Four. Five. There you go. Six. I'm going to hook your... You're slapping it, which is good. But Six! So you see me, you're opening it up. Big slap. So you're going to put it in your shoulder, so you're doing this. Okay, so one, two, right from here. Just when you throw your hook, just bring it up. Seven! second ago, one of the things I want to be aware of, if I want you to watch my right hand when I throw my desk. I don't want to pull my hand back like this. Some of you are doing that. So you want this to stay glued here. If I throw my jab, this is always here to protect. 
my, when my right goes out, the left comes back to protect. Think of it this way, one, my hand is on the target, one hand is protecting the fort. So if I go jab, this is here, cross, this comes back here, hook, this comes here. Even when I throw my uppercut, this hand comes back. But I don't want to do this. I don't want to, and I, on the hook, I don't want to open the hook up. Okay. Some of us are doing that right now, but that's okay. But just be aware, just be mindful that your fist from here should hook. It does not open up. One, if you hit a solid target again, you're gonna compromise your shoulder, but you're not gonna have the power because it's the body that's generating the power. The hand is just the messenger. One, body, body. It's in the body. It's in the torque that you're gonna generate the power. Okay, so let's get line up. Is it ready? Low count. Okay, single jab. Going back to the beginning. Strictly defense. As much as you may want to hit back, you will not hit back. First, we're just going to take a quick inventory. We're going to do one minute rounds of simply defense. What do I mean by that? How do I deal with the single element like a jab? I can catch it. I can parry it. I can slip it. I can't even bob and weave, although it's a lot of motion for just a simple move. So we're just going to go over that right now. First of all, if I get caught unaware and I don't have time to move or anything, you can always catch the, the punch. But when I catch the punch, Jesse, uh, when I catch it, and you're, <coughs> if I'm here, all I'm going to do is turn my hand this way. He punches. I'm literally just catching it. But I still don't want to be flat-footed. If I'm standing like a boxer, every time he punches, I'm still rocking back. I'm dissipating the energy of his punch by moving back. So that's all I'm doing, catching. And that's all we're gonna do is, but if you're comfortable, you already, you, everyone here's already trained, you can move around. We're moving around, he punches whenever I catch it. Let's keep our mouths closed. <laughs> because if you get caught, we don't want you to chip a tooth or it doesn't take a lot. So, so here, practicing my footwork. That's all I'm doing is turning. Okay, break. Okay, let's my try that. Lead hand. When I'm my left leg, you would you ask the question first? Okay, if if he jabs and I catch with the what have I just done? I've created this big opening. Now if he's throwing a one-two, one-two, I'm wide open. On the other hand, if he throws here, boom, I'm in. Okay. <laughs> I have I can retaliate immediately. But if I'm here. If he jabs and I do this, look at the motion from here to here. It's too slow. At least it's too slow for me. Some of you younger people may have more speed and can get away with that. But in slow motion, watch this. See how, I've, and then when we're moving around, we exaggerate it. So I've just created this wide opening for him to punch me when he's throwing his right. So I want to keep my left to protect. He jabs here, and then I can come with my own. That's what we're doing. We're not doing that yet. We're just catching. Catch with the rear hand, here. Keep the left hand out there ready to launch because we'll, we will be doing that in a little bit. A parry, you're deflecting it, but you don't just stand there. I want to move my body with it. My head is going, I'm using my knees to move me on a diagonal, okay? Once you're comfortable with a jab, at the same time, I believe in aggressive defense. I'm defending, I'm hitting, okay? I'm defending, I'm hitting, okay? So now he's protecting here, jab, jab, okay? So as soon as you're comfortable with the parry, add one minute, he's gonna jab for a minute, I mean, and you're not gonna, you know why I don't want you to do that, watch, do it again, okay? You'll get faked out and you'll get knocked out. So, okay, I'm gonna do it for you. You parry and jab low. Take it, go ahead and hit me. Jab, at the same time, same time. Hit the stomach. There you go. Yes. There you go. So it's conditioning for one person, defense for the other. You're learning to parry and hit back at the same time. Let's try that. Yes. Really quick question. Do we reach the, do we do a parry? Just to back this slightly here, do we reach out for it? No, it's a short movement. It's a short movement because you're moving at the same time with teach out. Moving. Okay, let's go. This is straight jab. Um, when we when, if they go a one two because sometimes people will just throw the jab, but most often it's going to be a one two. So what do I do with the one two? 
if we have time, which I think we have a little bit of time, we're going to go into bobbing and weaving. You're going to parry the jab, bob and weave under the cross. Have we bobbed and weaved before? Okay, so, you, so what I want to do is just dissect the bobbing and weaving. What it looks like is if I'm, if, I, if she jabs, I parry, and then comes across. The slow motion now, from one, when I bob, I go towards the center of the body, I bend my knees, I come up, and in reality, I'm not going to stop trying to throw that punch. Because if I do this, it goes one, two, and then I decide to throw a punch, well then what was the purpose of that motion? The idea of the bobbing and weaving is for me to develop the momentum I'm going to need. So just so if I, if I go one, it's going to be here, bang. Okay, so from here, one, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to parry. When you come here, don't give up that punch. Okay? And then back up. And don't stay close up. You just one, two. One, two. And then we're out again. Okay? So jab. Go underneath. Make your legs do the work. Because here, see, I'm in a good position. She's not. So that's where you would go body or high. So let's try that against slow motion. One, two. If you want just a little pop right there to the body, short movement. And what are you going to do with when I when you hit the, to the body? Go to my body, right here, with your left, like an uppercut. You can roll with it. You don't open it up so <laughs> it's your ribs. You kind of roll with it. Okay, let's try that. So let me just reiterate in slow motion. If she throws her jab, from here, when I bob and weave, this is boxing, but what if you were kickboxing? So some of you are doing this. She throws her right, 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 right. Exactly. So first thing you want to think about is after you carry, when the right comes, I keep my hands glued here. So if she were to bring up her knees, I can still deal with it. So I'm here. Secondly, when I throw that body hook, because I don't want to waste this motion. Why would it go one, two, one? Why would I do that when I can take a piece of her on the way in? So one, and then come up. So from here, when I go low, I'm still keeping it here, and then it, I'm nailing it here. Keep the hands up, make the make your body do the work. You're here when you go under. Okay. So what we're gonna do, the last part is. You can leave your gloves on. We're going to do a drill to get you bobbing and weaving a little bit more efficiently. So, give me one second. Everybody else can fall in behind him. Come on, let's go. Start working. This will force you to get shoulder to the rope. Shoulder to the rope. Shoulder to the rope. Stay in, stay in. Stay real close. Stay real close. We're just going to go under that. Right there. Uh, lower move. Does it see something that's a little bit lower? Yes. Keep it going. Keep going. Yes. Keep, keep your hands up. Don't switch leads, though. Oh, don't switch Stay leads. in one lead right now. So you're going here. You're learning how to go. Don't Right now, I don't want you to switch. Do not switch leads because then you're fighting. You wouldn't touch once you switch. You need to stay grounded. Try to maintain your stance. Okay, Stay in your like fighting stance. What's your, where's your fighting stance? Yeah. Here. And then this one leads you to the other side. There you go. Right now we're working this way. Everybody's Don't bring your feet together. Maintain, maintain that position. So I'm here. I'm coming in here. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. So you can go back. Go forward. Come forward now. Very nice. Little steps. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is a great drill. I think I think you get that um, when you're training in boxing, I know the majority of us are doing it for fitness, but you still when you think of in terms of self-defense, if you've never been hit, you're not gonna know how you're gonna react emotionally, mentally in the street. So this last part, we get to hit each other for free. No charge. This is what this is more psychological than it is physical. And this is what I'm going to ask you to do. You cannot drop your hands. Your partner will. You're going to put your hands up. Your partner's going to go to work on the abs, targets that are off limits, the groin and the chest, especially for the young ladies. 
okay? You're just working the stomach. And what you will do from this position is, it's gonna force you to learn one, how to breathe, because if he hits me and I go, then I'm gonna be in trouble. So, so I'm gonna practice my breaths, and I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna roll with it. If he goes body hooks, That's what we're gonna do. You cannot, it's more psychological. You're gonna wanna drop your hands. You must keep your hands up and every time he punches, and, and you can tell him harder. Harder, I don't, did you not take your vitamins today? Come on, is that all you got? I'm serious, harder. And I'm flat footed, okay? Or you can say less, less. Talk to your partner, but keep those hands up. 30 seconds, that's all you've got. You can do this. Okay, we started off, we went over footwork, we reviewed, and we started off with the step and slide footwork, which is Eastern Boxing, and also the triangle, which even though I adopted it from the Filipino martial arts, I wanna quickly tell you, when I was a fighter, and I was winning my fights, I was still getting beat up. And it wasn't until I was introduced to my teacher, Dan Inosanto, because I was a straight in fighter. But when I was introduced to him and got some training from him, he taught me more how to move on diagonal. So I kept winning my fights, but I didn't look like I'd lost the fight. So that's very important. So um, when it comes to defense, and I've already indicated, so we, we reviewed catching. When would I catch? I don't really like catching, but when you use the catches, if you don't, you just get caught in the way, you don't have time to react, she punches and, oh shoot, I'm gonna catch it. I'm not parry. Catch is different from a parry. Catch, I'm receiving the energy, but I don't want to stand straight, so I'm gonna still rock back with it. Because even when she punches here, then I can still come back. Parry, we're moving at a diagonal, but not on a horizontal. I'm still, when I parry, I'm moving in here. Why? Because I want to be able to parry, but at the same time, hit. Okay. When she throws her cross, if it's straight, I can go one, two, and I can still slip. So catch, parry, slip. Bobbing and weaving, I can parry, she throws across, I go under, and as you go under, you also, and, and don't make a habit of posing your hand out there. It looks good, but it's a bad habit. So one, two, and bring it back, even with me. Okay, one, step, cross, and bring it back. Okay, because you don't want to get used to leaving your hand out there. When you're punching, if I'm throwing, this, these were the focus mitts, if I'm doing my jab, jab, the cross, I don't want to let it hang. I want to bring it back as fast as I put it out there, one, two, three, because I want to deliver the hook. If I stay out there a little too long, this is going to get intercepted. So the jab is replaced by the cross, it's replaced by the hook, and whatever. Each punch is replacing another. Keep in mind with your guard so that you don't get hurt. When I jab, right hand's protecting my head. When I throw the cross, left hand comes to protect. Even if I'm doing a body shot, the, the hand is protecting me. The hand is protecting me. So I'm always one hand protecting while the other one is busy. Okay, any questions? All right, thank you. Thank you.